So here's that yard that I was so excited about. Uh, we had pulled honey and we had noticed there's a huge flow coming in. So I got excited and I put another box on. So I thought I'd be able to catch the resumed flow. And it turns out it probably ended right shortly after we put the boxes on. Because these seconds that we put on, the second supers we put on, are only a third to half full. So we have one good box of honey and then a second or third one. So I'm guessing that what we were seeing was probably second cut alfalfa. And I expect that what happened is they probably cut it. Which ended the flow. But we had to go for it. So we put the extra steps in. And that is that. So these guys are being pushed down into their nuke boxes. Which as you can see is going to be tight. They're bearding now. It's 30 degrees right now. But... There's going to be a lot of bees in these boxes, so that is what it is. We have some open feed over there just to help uh, keep them on some sugars. Some of these boxes, you know, a lot of them have some honey down there. But uh, we got to make sure that they don't starve out on us. So these guys are especially important uh, to watch to make sure we don't starve them because there's a lot of brood, especially these new queens in these in confined space. She'll fill that right full of brood. So we gotta make sure they don't starve out on us. So I just wanna do a food assessment on these nukes. Uh, we've put these escape boards in, which has instantly removed the food that was stored above from the bottom chambers. As soon as these boards go in, it completely removes these top boxes from the function of the colony below. So I have to make for damn sure that they have some food going on below here. Um, and I'm fearing that they probably don't because these guys I'm anticipating they're gonna have like five to six frames of brood um, I'm gonna see if there's any pollen in here, and I want to check to see if there's any type of sugars uh, we have Syrup set out in the yard here, and they're just starting to find it so um, It won't take long before we have some inflow, but I just want to see what's going on in the bottom chamber here So the top box is about half full. This box here is very full. And these bees are already moving down. This escape board works extremely fast. As you can see the bees are coming through the cones. Just streaming through the cones. Even as I hold it here they're moving through the cones. And it, they kind of, as they migrate down to the bottom chamber, they just kind of go through the, uh, they come down, they hit the screen, and they just kind of circle until they fall into this channel, and then they instantly almost go into those cones. It's almost like a magnet for them. It's really neat watching them do that. So it doesn't take a lot of time for them to migrate down. Um... I don't have my smoker with me, so we're just going to dig down. They're probably a little bit edgy, but uh, we'll just battle through it. So I'm looking down on the top of the frames here, and they look pretty dry. They've pushed all their food up top, just like I wanted them to. So I'm looking at a frame rimmed with pollen. Absolutely no food. Brood. This side's full of pollen. Open cells. They're not using the cells.
This outside frame should have honey in it. And I'm not seeing even a stitch of honey in there, which got me concerned. Here's a solid frame of brood. Brood on this side. Let me get my sun angle here. Completely laid out with eggs. Another good frame of brood. Younger brood surrounding that with pollen. I'm seeing pollen stores this year, which is mm -hmm. extremely exciting. This is open brood. I'm not seeing any type of sugar stores. This is one of the disadvantages of these uh, skateboards is you put them in and it doesn't provide you access to even put pails on the yard until you get back. So you, I got open feet out there. Here's a solid frame of brood. Holy crap. These guys have a lot of brood inside going on down here. Here's a frame of open brood. As on this side, this is young open brood. So now if I don't get sugar into this colony, they're going to cannibalize that open brood. Pulling the last frame here is chock full of brood. I haven't found the queen. There's so many bees in here. And this side's full of brood. Not a stitch of sugar to be found. So that is extremely concerning. These guys are dangerously light. They haven't reacted to the removal of the honey boxes yet. So, I'm just going to have to trust that the bees will do what they do best and find that syrup and bring it back within hours. The yard, this is a yard of 60 nukes, which is equivalent to about 40. Uh, and the workforce, you look at all the bees here. I'm going to have to come back here probably tomorrow to make sure they're sucking back this syrup. So I'm back in this yard today just to see if they were able to bring in some food reserves and they are definitely busy putting this uh, worker population to work. I set out three totes over here just to drop some syrup into them and we'll just take a look to see.
half done already. Busy, busy, busy. Good. So I'm just going to open up a colony here just to see uh, how much they have stored inside. Just to help me sleep at night a little bit, knowing that they have some reserves on hand. I just want to check it out. boxes have practically been cleared of bees already. I could probably pull this today. Hardly any bees in here. All down through the escape. Packed in here, look at that. Right full of bees. So, ah, don't have my, forgot my smoker again. But I'm just gonna dig down. I just wanna take a look on the outside of the nest just to see if they're able to store any syrup. They obviously have by the amount of bees up and flying. And I'm looking down at this nest and it looks a lot, it looks wet, which is positive. Yesterday I was looking at a dry nest and there is syrup stored in this frame. It's stored in this frame. So these guys are good. I just want to pull a frame here with open brood just to make sure they hadn't already started cannibalizing their brood. Because these guys had no food on hand. They would have sat all night without any food except for what was in their stomachs. So, it's a full frame of capped brood. And they're filling all the space here with nectar, with not nectar, with syrup. Another nice frame of brood. Lots of syrup on hand now. Where did I find that open brood before? There's eggs and open brood there. But I'm Oh, this next frame is what I'm looking for. Yesterday I pulled a frame that was right full of open brood. Which is this one? It's still there and it looks lush. So crisis averted. As this side, this is really young brood. Yeah. Looks fantastic. So what's going on now is these bees are going out and they're gathering the syrup and they're basically just bringing it in and dropping it in any cell they can find. So I'm finding syrup randomly placed all through the nest. This is the only place they can store it because this is the only place that I have for them now. Uh, as things go, they'll take that syrup and they'll, you know, they'll put it where they want it as they build this nest and they, as they consume all these resources to, you know, carry forward and develop out what's needed ahead of them. So, it's good to see the honey in here. I'm just going to relax a little bit about them starving and I don't want to drop too much syrup on them yet because I don't want them to start backfilling this nest out. I just want to keep syrup on hand food on hand for them. That is that.
So as you can kind of see, these nukes really require, the way I run them here, they really re require more attention than as if we're running them in single boxes. We are running them, and I, you know, you could also make that argument with single boxes as compared to doubles. We are running these units uh, with less resource on hand. So as we go through with our uh, beekeeping operations, as we take their food away, we got to make sure these guys don't starve out. We got to make sure these guys have the resource on hand to be able to carry on their development and and move on. So, in a double hive, you'll notice that there's a lot of honey in there, and there's going to be more pollen in there, and maybe a little more space. So, you're allowed more flexibility within your management. You can almost just do your work and forget about them. Um, but the single box management, uh, that brood is more dominant, the queen's forced to use more space, she's pushed out a little bit more, so there'd be less room for honey, um, and there'd be, there's pollen in there, but maybe there'd be less pollen in there too, that's arguable, but there'd be less place for honey in there, so you have to be a little bit quicker on your resources. Uh, by managing in those situations, we are basically maximizing the amount of honey we're pulling from these hives, uh, which is our objective this is our business we make honey so we maximize the amount of honey we get on them in that case we have and in this case we're forcing that queen to use the entire box here full of brood practically the entire box so we get, she has pollen on hand she has very little spot to put any type of honey resource we are basically telling her to put it up and when she puts it up here we take it away so then they're left with nothing so we have to make sure that these units don't starve out. So we have to be Johnny in the spot and we have to be absolutely aware of what's going on, all the conditions around us and when we're pulling honey off these uh, singles and especially these nukes. If there is a heavy flow going on right now and we stripped off these boxes and to give them back any space, they would plug out that brood nest. Just kind of like what they're doing right now with the syrup. They're just packing her full full of syrup. They'd be doing the same thing with nectar and they just plug themselves out. So. We have to watch what's going on. On um, this situation has happened now, they were in starvation mode. They had absolutely no sugar on hand. On the reverse, I've had years where we pull all the boxes, all of a sudden a flow starts up, and they completely plug themselves out. Absolutely no space for that queen to uh, make, continue on that winter yeah. nest. So anyways, you just gotta be aware of what's going on. With every advantage, there's disadvantages. We just have to learn how to manage them. But if you understand what's going on and you are not afraid to work a little bit and you're Johnny on the spot, these nukes, the way we manage these nukes, are an extremely effective way of rearing queens, um, of producing a honey crop to boot, and just managing the mass of workload around making up nukes just by being able to manage all the surplus honey up top, strip them off, throw some feed in the yard and away you go. So anyways, that's just a little bit of rambling about what's going on here. Uh, didn't sleep very well last night because my babies are starving, but obviously everything's hunky-dory. Uh, those bees would have had full stomach fulls of, uh, of you know, honey and nectar, so they would have been able to sustain the hive for we're obviously overnight. Now the syrup's in them. Looks like we're going to get a bit of rain. Might hold them inside these boxes for a day, day or two. And I don't want to worry about it because they have syrup stored inside their hives. Quite an exciting thing. I love it.